Welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Harihar Nath. Today, we will be covering how to connect and visualize InfluxDB data using Grafana with Node-RED. This is the continuation to my previous video in this series. But don't worry, I will try to recap for what we have done so far for the sake of new viewers. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get full value out of this. So let's recap the steps we have done in the previous video. So we have installed InfluxDB and we also have set up the buckets, the bucket and inside the bucket we also have set up the measurement etc. And also we have seen how to visualize the data using graphs as well as table. And once this is done, we also have done the Node-RED installation and we have started in the Node-RED. So here we have created this flow to send some data. So here we are simply sending the data that is at field temperature, humidity and the tags as timestamp and we are combining the tags and fields and sending the message. So that is being sent to the send influx out node so that it is received at this area. In case you want to get more deeper understanding on this flow we have created, you can always watch previous videos with the link in the description below. So for this tutorial, so already I have started the InfluxDB and Node-RED that you can see here. Now next thing we need to do is download Grafana. To download Grafana, we just have to go to Grafana download in the Google. So you will get this page. So here select a version which is the latest with stable and also select the edition OSS which means open source and select the OS that you are using. So I am using Windows and I will download the installer. Now we can see the download is done. I can click on this and you can always run anyway. Click on next, agree, next, install. So now within a minute the installation is done. I can click on finish. So now once that is done, the Grafana installation, so by default the port is 3000. So I can use localhost 3000 and the Grafana page is opened. So based on the documentation, the password and username is admin and admin. So I will just use admin admin and we need to change the password. Now we have entered into Grafana. So click on data sources. So here you need to type influx. So here you can give the influx DB as a name and here you can use flux as a query language. And the URL is what is shown here the same one you can just copy from here as well. So localhost 8086 and we need to give the authentication that is username password and uh, the organization the token you can find it from here API tokens sometimes it is not visible if you haven't saved it so you would need to create it again. So I can just create one more token and say this is for Grafana and copy to clipboard. Now I can paste it here. Uh, so whatever buckets we have is we can check here. So I will use home monitoring. And click on save and test. So we can see data source is working, 4 buckets found and we can also start visualizing by building a dashboard. Click on this. So please remember that I have already sent some data in the previous video but I can also show you right now. What I can do is in the Node-RED I will try to make this inject node interval for every second. Click on done and deploy. So 
So immediately you can see the data is being written. Here what, what is the data that we are writing is temperature value which is randomly generated temperature value. So for example here you can also compare the temperature and humidity value is randomly generated and being changed. So you can go to build dashboard and this is a dashboard. So here we can see and uh, we need to create add visualization. Select the data source and first we need to select the query that we want to put. So properly select the influx DB as a data source and go what, what do you want to see? So you can go back to your buckets and click on the bucket and click on which data you want to see. So I want to see humidity data. So I'll select this and click on script editor. So now it will give me this value. I can copy this and paste it here. So you can do refresh like this and immediately you can see the values. But if you don't want to aggregate, so you can remove this and refresh. So even I can remove that yield and uh, I'll just use last. So now we can see the values are available like this and so we can give the panel title as humidity and save the dashboard by giving new dashboard that is monitoring home monitoring and click on save. Once this is done we can go back to the dashboard we can see the values like this and uh, we can change the time frame to be one hour or three hours so whichever we want last 15 minutes also we can see the data is coming next we need to add another visualization to see temperature in the gauge format so you can click on this time series and select the gauge and you need to put the value properly here so for that, I again go to the query builder, select the temperature and submit. Now click on script. I can copy this. After copying, I will paste it here and if you refresh it, it will be showing so many values but we want only few, right? So what I have done is I have grouped and created some top columns I have selected. I will just place paste it here. Now if you refresh you will get the value like this. You don't even need this last command and it will be working. So this is clear. Now we save this dashboard. Now we can go back to the dashboard. Here we can refresh every 5 seconds. What I have done is in the node red I have set this to be sending every 5 seconds the new data. So in the influx DB we can see new data every 5 seconds. The same way you can go here and refresh every 5 seconds so you will get a new value. So I just saved it again by changing the by keeping this as last 5 minutes and if I refresh it so within 5 seconds it should refresh automatically 29.2 and then 14.1 this value of the gauge is not properly given the minimum and value minimum and maximum so what i can go is i can use the minimum as 0 and maximum as 100 and save this now you can see the value is properly indicated here if it goes more than 80 it is showing red because that is how we have set and uh, same way we can do for temperature humidity whatever values that you have so every 5 seconds you can see the latest value getting updated. That's all for today's video. I hope this video is informative and has guided you on how to use or visualize InfluxDB data using Grafana with Node-RED. If yes, please type helpful in the comment section below. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.